Franklin and Bash season four episode one. Now, first off, I want to say I'm really glad that this show is finally back on. Apparently, it's been off for an entire twelve months, which I didn't realize between the seasons, but it has been a really long time. It's actually been that long since we've had season three, which I felt was really short to begin with. I wondered if that show got canceled because I felt like it went off really fast last season. But fortunately, we're back. We got episode one going. The show still feels the same despite the fact that we have unfortunately lost a couple of characters this season. Some really important characters that we've, two of which we had since season one, and one of which was introduced last season, but you know, she's gone now too. But we've lost Carmen and Pindar, which really sucks because they were really funny characters in the show. They were like the more sketchy side, you know, Carmen was the more sketchy side of Franklin and Bash, and then Pindar was the more tech side of Franklin and Bash. So it really sucks seeing this episode where neither of them were in it. And Pindar may or may not come back into the show, Kumail Nanjiani. He might make a couple of appearances in some of the season. Because they don't mention that he just left. They mention he went to help someone in person. So he like he's on other stuff. So he might be able to come in this season. And we might get to see him in some episodes. But they wrote it that Carmen flat out just left. They, they kind of had a falling out and she officially just left. So whatever that actress is doing, I don't know her actual name, but whatever she's doing, she is far too busy to actually work on the show, unfortunately. And that really sucks because, like I said, they were, like, the it was Franklin and Bash, but they were, they were a quartet. They, of course, all worked together as a team. They were all hilarious working together, whether they were in the same scenes or not. They were all funny. And it just sucks to see, like, half of Franklin and Bash, even if it's not Franklin and Bash, Carmen and Pendar, you know they were a quartet so it sucks to see half of the team actually gone we also lost rachel from last episode i'm not sure why she had to leave either but they wrote her story in that she actually was embezzling money so she fled basically so her name is off uh one thing that was really cool with her having done that and basically framing infield he was forced to leave so that actually got franklin and badge um basically promoted so their name is actually when you look around in the episode it has the names in phil daniels and then franklin and bash underneath and i love that it, it's really cool it is just franklin and bash it's not like um their last names they use um well they, those are their last names but they put like the actual sign in there they didn't do like the dashes and stuff it's like franklin and bash is just one thing and that's how they came in that's how they represent it so i thought that was cool just randomly seeing that around the episodes like you can see their names behind the uh, main counter and you can see it on some of the doors throughout the episode but that was pretty cool uh they we have a new character who is basically the replacement for Carmen. he actually works for the firm and he's an interesting character i thought he was pretty funny um he's kind of like carmen but way way over the top into his private investigating moves where he spies on them in their office basically to hear what's happening he bought the burners for no reason. It was just like, hey, take some burners just because. Like, here are burners, just in case you need them. Why not? And they had the scene where he, like, fell asleep with his eyes wide open. I thought that was funny. He is clearly a really weird character. Like, when they were in the elevator, he was just talking to them. And they're like, hey, we're in an elevator with other people. And he's like, oh. And then he just turns around as if turning the other way, facing away from people, destroys his voice or something. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought... It just shows how weird his character is. I'm definitely excited to see more out of him. But so far, I think he's a nice, funny replacement. I mean, it was only the first episode, but I thought he was pretty funny. We also get a character back from last season. I can't remember her name, but she was really into Jared. I believe it was Jared. So their relationship seems really funny this season because now that they actually work together, they can't really be together since uh, Franklin and Bash are both senior partners. It's not like they're on the same level or anything, so technically they can't be together, but, you know, it's just really funny, so I enjoyed that, and the typical stuff that they do, Franklin and Bash, was definitely in this episode, it was still really funny, uh, they did their weird stuff, especially in the beginning, I love that, it was a cool reference to uh, The Walking Dead, the guy who was the judge used to be on The Walking Dead, so I thought that was really funny when he was like, I have a strict no zombies policy in my uh, courtroom, I thought that was really cool that they had that reference and he used to be on there. So that was pretty cool to me. I enjoyed that. And then, you know, they just did the whole crazy zombie thing. And the actual main story was really well done. And they had the jokes, like the nerdy jokes, like the uh, the guy being an archaeologist, but he didn't like Indiana Jones, except for the last movie, The uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which 
pretty much everyone hates, at least real diehard uh, Indiana Jones fans. So that was really funny when they had that scene because they make those nerdy jokes. They had a Star Wars joke at the end when they were all smoking weed. And he was in the chair was like, you know, strike me down with all your strength. That was from Star Wars. So they still work in those really nerdy jokes. They still do the really crazy over-the-top moves when they're in the courtroom. Uh, we got to see Damien, so he's at another firm. So I'm sure that pretty much every case, it won't be every episode, I have to assume it'll be maybe every other episode or every two episodes or so, he'll choose a case where he can go up against Franklin and Bash and we'll get to actually see him throughout this season and there might be times where he actually does come in and I don't know why he would come to the firm outside of a court case but there might be a reason to do that so fortunately Damien is still in there as well but overall I definitely enjoyed the season it was great to hear that opening theme song again which I completely forgot about I actually really liked that song I forgot it was such a good song but I enjoyed the episode sad to see that we lost so many characters I actually enjoyed even the character Rachel, even though she was new, I enjoyed her character because she was like the new, really strict boss because they had Enfield who was like the calm sensei guy who just spouts wisdom all the time and really doesn't, he's like the really relaxed, cool uncle or something. And then she came in and she was like the tough as nails boss. So I actually like that difference between them. And he kind of always let her do her own thing because he was just like, hey, I get to relax more. And then she, you know, work still gets done. So I enjoyed her character, but unfortunately she's gone, and of course we had our more common characters who've been there from the very beginning, and unfortunately they aren't there either, but the show's still really good, I think it's still really funny. The characters that have come in as replacements, or at least come in as, you know, one person is a replacement, the other character, she's come in as um, a more common cast character, a full cast member. So. The show's still definitely doing well. I Like I said, I love the comedy. It's still the same spirit of it. We just don't have as many people to keep the spirit. But we have our two main people. And honestly, considering how well it went in this first episode, I'd say the season's still going to be pretty good, despite the fact that we've lost three cast members from last season. But I enjoyed the episode. I'm excited for next week's episode, of course. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this season premiere favorite parts least favorite parts and because we've of course lost so many people and we've gotten uh certain cast members become full cast members and we even got one replacement character what do you guys think of this change are you guys going to continue to watch this show this season or would you say that tnt has basically lost another viewer for franklin and bash because we've lost so many characters including um i can't think of her actual name but the character from season one and she basically left after that season i don't know why but her character was no longer in the show after season one and she was a great character too so would you, would you say you guys are going to continue watching this season or do you guys think you're going to drop out comment below and let me know and thanks for watching